results are a lot better than uh, I thought they would be. Uh, so we're really excited to work with a Republican-led Republican House. Republican Senator Charles Schneider says the election could not have unfolded any better. While he takes time to let the results sink in, he can't wait for the next session to gavel in and get to work on the issue. Fiscal responsibility, making sure that government doesn't spend more than it takes in and that it budgets responsibly. Uh, we also want to make sure that we're growing the economy and creating jobs. We want to make sure that Iowa children are competing uh, for jobs nationally, that they're uh, having an opportunity to succeed in school. Democratic Senator Matt McCoy has a different view. His belief is Republican attention toward education will be costly, saying Republicans prefer a voucher system, allowing parents to enroll their children in private or parochial school. That pulls money directly away from public education. So I think it will undermine the whole core of public education. That is not Senator McCoy's only concern. He believes Republicans have the power to legislate any way they want. Extreme bills that were filed last year in the House, for example, uh, stand your ground restrictions on reproductive rights for women. McCoy says it is now time for Democrats to regroup and come back stronger. An effort made difficult with Senate Majority Leader Mike Gronstall not being able to retain his seat in Pottawatomie County. I'm very disappointed that we've lost Mike. Mike is a wonderful leader and has been for Iowa the past 34 years. He's put Iowans first.